Hello and welcome, this is Edward and today I'm going to show you the changes in the latest versions of GregTech. There are a few new items and some changed vanilla recipes, as well as a new, new machine. So let's get started. Alright, first of all there are a couple new ores which spawn in uh, specific biomes. We've got tetrahedrite and we've got cassiterite, which is um, a little bit far. And cassiterite, which is right here. And of course, it's not just going to look like this. In fact, this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you the new uh, mechanics for camouflage ores. Now, let's say you've got some tetrahedrite here and it doesn't just look like that. Let's get some stone. If we put some stone next to it, the texture of the ore is actually gonna change and it's not gonna appear as tetrahedrite on all sides. In fact, here it's only showing on this side here. And so yeah. Now, and depending on where the ore is, it's gonna show uh, one side visible or the other. There you go. In this case, it's showing this side. So depending on where the ores are in the world, you're going to see uh, one or another side of them. And if you take all that stone that's around the block, around the ore, uh, off, then it's going to appear, uh, the core of the ore is going to appear and you're going to be able to see it like this. And if you mine it, you are simply going to get the ore itself, which in your inventory looks like that. So those are the two new ores, and remember they only spawn in specific biomes. Uh, which ones? You're gonna have to find out by yourself. Okay, back in the desert world we've got two new tools I wanna show you. We've got files. Files uh, have four tiers, iron, bronze, steel, and tungsten steel, and basically each of the tiers has um, a different durability. And then we've got saws. Uh, and we've got iron, bronze, steel, tanks and steel, electric saw, and advanced saw. And the electric saw is crafted like that, and it basically replaces the saw from industrial craft. If you still want to get the uh, saw from industrial craft, just craft this recipe upside down. And um, to craft the files, um, simply combine plates and a stick, plates of the appropriate material, and to craft the steel, for example, you're going to need a new type of item called iron rods. And iron rods are crafted by mixing an ingot with a file. Or using the new machine, the lathe, which is right here. And you can see the recipes. Uh, simply put an ingot or a wood plank and you'll get some rods. So let's try it out. If we put an iron ingot here, it should start processing and give us an iron rod and uh, two tiny piles of iron dust, so we don't actually lose, um, you know, iron. And you use these iron rods in a bunch of new recipes. Um, a change in vanilla recipes that has happened is uh, wood no longer gives you four wood planks, it now gives you two, except for if you use a saw. If you use a saw, it'll give you four, but it'll consume uh, durability from the saw. Um, sticks also, the stick recipe also now gives you two unless you use a saw, but you have to use it in a 3x3 grid, and you use it like that. And now you get four sticks, and again, it takes durability of the saw. And of course, you can use any type of saw, even electric one here, electric ones here. Um, what else? more changes to vanilla recipes. For example, now hoppers need iron plates and a wrench and a chest. A uh, chest was from before. Uh, Minecarts need iron plates and a hammer. Iron doors need iron plates and a hammer and iron bars need iron rods which we made how we just talked before and a wrench and let's see some more changes. Alright, to finish up the episode we've got a variety of uh, sprays and it's 
sprays have different uses. We've got back spray, which is really useful against uh, spiders. And let's get off creative mode. Let's see. It applies uh, some kind of debuff to spiders and it kills them pretty fast. And it's using durability. Um, then we've got freezing spray, which is effective against slimes. So let's uh, test that out. If we use the freezing spray, and again I'm left clicking here, I can kill slimes really fast. In fact, for these little guys, uh, seems like only one hit is needed. And next up we've got construction spray. And this can be uh, crafted from an empty spray can and SV, I mean CF pellets. And basically the construction spray can create construction foam. And each time you create one, it's going to consume uh, one of its durability. And to harden the foam, you can either use sand, which is the uh, classic method, or you can use this hardening spray. And the hardening spray is crafted with 16 sand and has 256 uses. And if you right click on construction foam with it, then you're going to get hardened construction foam. Um, another spray we have is the pepper spray. The pepper spray can be used against mobs. Uh, so let's spawn some zombies, for example, which um, probably should close this up then. Pepper spray, and I believe this has a nice, uh, gives a nice amount of damage to mobs. Not completely sure. Uh, what I know for sure is that it, it applies an effect on them. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, it's an effective way of killing mobs. Um, something else. We've got a hydration spray, which, if you are into icy crops, you can basically use use it to hydrate your crops. Uh, this one's I just fertilized, so I can't fertilize it anymore. Uh, let's see if we can get some other ones. Now, if I use my um, hydration spray while well, in survival mode, you're gonna see that I just lost some durability. And as soon as I can't use it anymore, then it, w it will stop working. So that's the hydration spray. And finally we've got 16 more sprays, each of which, which corresponds to a different color. We've got the spray can red, for example, which is crafted with 16 rose reds and an empty can and it gives me 512 uses. And it can be used to dye, uh, for example, foam, hardened foam. Yeah, and if you use it each time it's going to consume uh, one point of durability and it's going to color that phone of that way. And I believe you can also use it to color things like um, wool. So let's check it out. There you go. So pretty useful item. What I want to show you last is gears. Correct tech? has now its own set of gears. There's iridium, tungsten steel, titanium steel, bronze, iron, and they are compatible with all the other ones. So for example, if you use uh, bronze gears from another mod to make something, you can also use Greg Tech, uh, bronze gears for that. And they are crafted differently than you might be used to. Uh, for example, the bronze gear requires four bronze rods and four bronze plates and a wrench. Or if you use an assembling machine, then you just need four bronze plates and four bronze rods. And these wrenches are, uh, these gears are used to make some items in Grectech. For example, the tungsten steel gear is used to make the thermal boiler block and the large gas turbine. All right, so those are the changes in the latest version of Grectech. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.